Hey guys, how are you? Well, today we're going to talk about the Tuya Smart Life Dimmer Switch, and I want to show you how to install it, how to configure it, and how to use it. Let's start. Well, before everything, I want to ask you if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon below this video to get new notifications about new videos. It really helps a lot with this channel to get going and to bring you more videos. So now, the first thing I want to talk about it is safety. It's very important that you know what you're doing regarding to the electricity okay if you don't know what you're doing i ask you please call a professional electrician guy so he will do it for you if you do it by yourself it's on your own risk okay so as i said in previous video i think that my goal here is not to die and uh i just want to show you how can you install this dimmer switch okay so Let's talk a little bit about it. You have to have a neutral wire in this particular item, okay? You have to have a neutral wire, okay? Otherwise, it just won't work. The second thing is, uh, if you have Alexa, if you have Google Home, or if you have, um, let's say, iOS device, like, you know, to use Siri with, uh, so you can configure it to all those devices, all those uh, personal assistants. But if you want to use it with the iOS devices, you have to have Homebridge to connect it through it, okay? So, having said that, let's see how to install it on the wall. So first thing, we'll take out the old switch. And will put down the main electricity in the house. We'll take the new one and we'll open it through here. We'll put this here. Just open it. So you can see that you have here L there's going the fire line, okay? This is the N, this is for the neutral wire, and this is the L1. This is for the third wire, right? Okay, let's take down the electricity for safety. Okay, so we're good to go. And this is a neutral wire okay let's go to the N and now we'll take the L1 and put it in its place This is the fire line. Let's go to the L. Now let's turn on the switch, the main electricity, to see if it's working. Okay. So it does. Don't touch it with your bare hands because you'll get an electric shock. Don't touch it. I'm doing only with this kind of tool, okay? So just don't touch it. Taking down electricity again. Let's put it in place, back in place. We 
we put this back in place. Press it. That's it. Okay, so first tip, what I suggest, if you see it blinks really rapidly, so what you need to do is we want to turn it to blink slowly. So we'll press on those two buttons and we'll wait. Okay? I think it's about 15 seconds, something like this. And that's it. Now you'll see that it will blink slowly. Okay, so now we're good to go. We'll download the Smart Life app, we'll register, and then we'll configure this device into the Smart Life app. Let's see how to do it. Okay, so we'll get into the Smart Life app. We'll see here devices. So we're gonna choose Demon Switch Wi Fi. Okay, go to connect. My home. This is the 2.4. We have to have the 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi. Next. Next. See, it blinks slowly. Go to connect. And here I'll see the small life 65B0, whatever. We'll choose it. Go back the Small Life app. That's it. Now we'll say um, we can rename it Dimmer Switch. Save and it's in the kitchen in my case. Done. Now I can control it. I can schedule it. I can edit it and of course I want to connect it to in this case let's say to the Google system, okay? Okay, so it shows you how to do it. Basically that's it. If you want to see how to connect to your Google Home Assistant, so let's get into the Google Home and then I'll hit here the plus button, set up a device, it works with Google. This is the Small Life device, check for new devices, green link. These are the devices, and here is the dimmer switch light, okay, it's in home, it's in the kitchen, next, and basically that's it. Guys, I hope you liked this video, I hope it helped you. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the comment below this. Tell me how you're doing, uh, was it helpful for you, uh, what do you think about the videos. I really, really like to read all those comments. Please have fun and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.